Hello, this is Tolu from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you guys to an add-on that's already inside the Blender called the Turntable Add-on. I've known about this add-on for a while, but I've never used it until I've done. I did some research on it and I found out how easy it is to set up and how great it is to use for showcasing your models. I'm going to open up Blender and this add-on, as far as I can tell. It's in 2.79. I think I don't know how back, how far back it goes, but I'm thinking all of 2.7 is probably in there, and obviously it's in 2.8 and above. I'm going to turn on Blender right now. I've already had had a scene open. I'm going to open it up, and this model I downloaded from uh, Adobe Fuse, just for the sake of this tutorial. In order to activate the add-on. You go to edit, and it's the same thing in 2.79. Go to edit preferences, and in your preferences, just type in turntable. You can just type in turn, and table will come up. And when this comes up, you just activate it by clicking in this checkbox or putting a check mark in this box and close that out. And it's going to be in the tool tab, which is to the uh, to the right in 2.8 and I think in 2.79 and below it's in, it's in the left hand side over here let's click on the right side and here you can see animate so click on animate and from uh, the pop uh, side popping out menu just uh, scroll down and you'll see all these options here and now I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard and then hold down my middle mouse button and to uh, kind of pan over so we can see the camera when to scroll down I'll roll down on my mouse wheel to scroll uh, zoom out and I'm going to click on this camera and this is what the uh, add-on is going to use obviously to as a turntable to showcase your uh, image and this is good for when you've done a model you want to send it to somebody whoever you're working for and you want them to see every aspect of your model or if you're modeling something yourself you want them to be able to see it from every aspect you know top bottom all sides this add-on is going to be helpful for seeing all the angles so uh, let's click on our model here and then these parameters it's just pretty simple pretty straightforward click on user use cursor option and what that does is it's going to rotate your camera around uh, this cursor and I'm going to move the cursor up so it can be in the center of the body so I'm going to click on this uh, cursor gizmo and then left click and place it right in the middle I'm going to hold down my middle mouse button and pivot around to make sure it's right in the center of our model here and it is and I'm going to click on create constraints and then the next thing you do is press turn table and then it positions the camera there now it, it's kind of too low because if we look through the camera now press zero and we press play it works but it's going or rotating on the z-axis which we don't want once rotates pretty much on the y-axis so let's uh, stop that and go back to the beginning and let's uh, press zero again to get out of the camera view and one thing you have to note is that every time you make a change here with any of these options here you always have to press turn t turn around all the time that resets everything back to the new uh, the new parameters that you've set. So here we're going to put the z-axis on zero, enter, and then let's uh, click on the on the y-axis, let's press one, enter, and then press turntable, and now it pivots it so that it's on the y-axis. Let's press zero, look through the camera, and then let's press play, and there you go, it pivots around your model that way as I said before if you're wanting to showcase your model to someone that you're working for or their model so they can see it from all angles this is a great way to do it if you're wanting to pretty much just check your work and see how well it looks from all angles this is another way to do it another great way to, to showcase or to see any imperfection that you might have in your model and that's pretty much the Blender Quick Tip for today. Remember, every time you change any of these parameters, press turnaround to activate those changes. 
on the uh, turntable camera. Uh, once again, this is Hill from Trifle Productions with this Blender Quick Tip, and this is a really quick tip because this is a really simple and straightforward add-on. And I want to thank you guys again for subscribing. Uh, thank you all for your support. And I thank guys who have subscribed already. And for those who will subscribe in the future, I really appreciate you guys. And thank you very much for your support. And I really appreciate you guys. And once again, with all the, I don't know how many countries are still in quarantine, but I know that in this country, we some states are, some states aren't. But the best thing to do is just, you know, pretty much try to follow the CDC guidelines and just stay hygienic and uh, let's keep our distance from each other as much, as much as possible physically, but keep in contact through social media as much as you can. All right, thanks again, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.